so ready? I'm ready. So ready? What is that? Oh, my mom used to do that voice. <laughs> Well, this has been a fun morning. So this actually happened with my last vehicle with my Ford Ranger, the first truck that I had. When I had to get a smog check done the last time on that car, something happened. Oh, my check engine light was on and I guess I can't run a smog check test uh, if your check engine light's on. And now this happens. My mechanic is not answering his phone, but I'm gonna stop by his shop real quick because it's right around the corner, luckily. And I'm gonna see if it's an easy fix because it looks like it would be pretty simple. Um, but I gotta get this smog check done. My registration is due at the end of the month and Rochelle and I have been so busy and caught up that I forgot to do it. Well, I didn't forget, but I we definitely procrastinated on this. I'm gonna go stop by and see if he can help me out real quick so that we can get this done today. Cause we leave for camp in a couple days and I don't want to have to wait until I get home from camp because then my registration's due like pretty much right when we get home from camp. So we were trying to get this knocked out beforehand, but man, that really sucks. I wanted to show you guys what has to be replaced. So I went to talk to my mechanic and uh, he said it's not as simple as the lady at the smog shop told me it would be. He said he can't just replace that small piece. He said it busted off. So this entire unit right here has to be replaced, he said. He can't do it today, unfortunately, because he said if I go to the dealership, it's gonna cost me about $300 to get that replaced. I was like, uh, no thanks. He was gonna make some calls and try and find me a good deal somewhere for about 75 bucks. He said, I think I could get it for you for that price. Once you guys get back from your camp, come in, we'll replace that. And he said that I'll do the smog check for, he'll, he'll do the smog check for me too. So I don't have to go back to Jefferson Smog, which is nice. I didn't realize my mechanic did smog checks. So we just gotta wait a couple days. I feel like this always happens. It's always something. Every time I need to get something done, it's always something. This car has been running fine for I don't know how long. Like, you never have issues, and then all of a sudden, right when I need to get a smog check, right when registration is due, of course something like this happens. It is what it is. Car's wear and tear. It sucks, but I just hate that it's at this moment. We're leaving, we're trying to get ready, and now I gotta worry about this. So I'm gonna try and not let it bother me mentally for the next couple days until we get back, because there's nothing I can do about it, so. It's, uh, I forget what Jagade called it, but he said that he can't just replace the piece of tubing that the smog shop told me to re that I could replace. He said the whole unit has to be replaced. He said a dealership would be like 300 bucks, but he's gonna try and call a yard that he knows and try and give me one for like 75 bucks. So we can't get it to Can't do it today. He said he's gonna smog it when we get back from camp. He you said he'll get it, he's gonna replace it, like it. Yeah, he said it doesn't affect the way you drive. He said it just won't pass a smog check. Oh, uh, okay. That's missing. <sighs> he said hopefully 75 bucks, so we'll see. It just it's just inconvenient. Like, we have to literally to today, well, like, the car's been running fine. Who knows how long that piece has even been off, been missing, but well, of course, every time. Replaced. That's fine, I'm sorry that okay. you went through all that work to get it not approved. It is what it is. So I don't know how much Justin has shared as far as what's going on, sorry. But Justin's parents are in town because I think we mentioned that they're gonna be taking care of Emma while we're out of town this coming week. We're gonna be leaving in a couple of days, so they're gonna be watching her while we're out of town. So they're in town hanging out with Christian in here. We have a couple of errands to run for camp that we have not gotten things yet, so we're gonna go take care of that while she watches the grandkids. That's why we love grandparents and get as much done as we possibly can. So ready? I'm ready. What is that? Oh, my mom used to do that voice. <laughs> Rochelle's got to pick out some bandanas for her senior girls for they, camp. They have, Which ones are you gonna get? They have plain ones. I was gonna. You get should these, get. Oh, pretty, these are cool. But I was bang, wham, boom. Just I was kidding. just thinking, should I get a pattern <gasps> one? A, a unicorn or mermaids or donuts? Oh, the donuts are actually kind of cool. The donuts are cool. I don't know what they would like. I'm not cool. Donuts. Not do donuts. What's hip? I think donuts. Would I be thought cool. that the, blue, the plain blue was prettier though. It is. I say between those and the donuts. Oh, I don't want to text them and ask. Because no, it defeats the purpose. Uh, I'm going with blue. I think that the girls will like this color better, and I know all of them love this color, and I don't know that all of them love donuts. So, blue makes more sense. And now Justin's gonna see if he should get some for his senior boys because I said, hey, maybe the boys would like. I don't know. Do boys like like matching and stuff? Well, all the girls just, it's, love it's it. It's gonna be a comp. It's gonna be be a competitive competitive type type they're gonna of see thing. you girls wearing them and my guys are gonna be like yeah and they're gonna be like we, we want, want one some. we want one so we want ours blue is the way especially to go especially when it comes to the games they're gonna be like oh yeah oh yeah it's gonna be oh, super yeah. competitive 
because I'm the most competitive out there and I will destroy them. I convinced Justin to get one for the boys too because I don't want the senior boys to feel left out and they're, they're gonna, gonna get competitive, I'm telling But you. I will destroy them. No, you won't. I will destroy. Bryce, Bryce is already he's saying that physically he's physically faster, but piece. not mentally. <laughs> it is without fail. Every single time I go to Hobby Lobby, the person in front of me has an issue with something that they're purchasing and then we end up waiting for like 10 minutes at the checkout. Like literally every single time I go because their system is so like old, they don't scan. They have to manually enter in yeah. everything you buy. So if there's like a, like something wrong with the price, they have to call over the manager like every single time, every single time, literally every single time. Okay, I think we picked up everything we need. We got some chips for the road and Justin and I can't decide. So we got two separate types of chips. Bo's dog food for Justin's parents, formula, formula water, and we needed a sweet snack, so I picked up some Rice Krispies. And I thought this would go in the cup holder. It's like a dollar for like this like Tex-Mex looking mix. So I think that we are good to go. Now we have to go home and show like Justin's parents, Emma's routine basically. Like so everything that we normally do with her during the day so that they can make it super easy for themselves, get themselves set up. Like it's a lot to remember. So I think oh, I'm yeah. gonna type it all up sure. because I'm kind of, uh, like a, I, I'm like a creature of habit, so I do everything the same every day with Emma for the most part. So I think she'll be fine. Like she's she raised, she's, she's raised so two easy. kids on her own. So Monica's well, gonna. So easy too. Oh, Emma's super easy, and my mom's gonna be helping out actually, taking care of her two days. I think there's two days where she's watching her. And Kaylee said like, oh, if Monica needs a buddy, I'll hang out with her because Emma is super comfortable with Kaylee and Annabelle and Joshua. So it'll be good. I'm I'm kind of stressing out about it only because I have to leave. Like it's not just like I'm leaving, Justin's coming too, so it's not like one of us is gonna be there, so that's the part that like, my anxiety like time. creeps in. But I told Monica, I'm like, I'm gonna FaceTime twice a day. Once when she wakes up and once before bed and that'll help, like that, I know that that will help. And mm -hmm. I won't be out of service, so she can always like call me. I think I forget that part, so <sighs> I just need to breathe, but we're done getting everything we need, I think, for camp. And we can go home and relax and get that taken care of now. Get him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Christian, you should come see her. So she can chase you. She she doesn't know where you went. <laughs> there he is! Go get him! <laughs> no, not his shoes. There he is. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, Gadget! Go, get him! Go, go, go! Oh, he's right behind you! Whoops! They're okay! <laughs> she screamed back. Okay, get him! He's coming for you! Oh, where'd he go? It's just from the car seat. Yeah. Come here, Grandma. Gosh, you so good. good job. Yay! <laughs> Come here. It's your Oh. Who's a bad boy? The ground. The ground. Come here. Go get him! She's so, she loves you so much. She's been like clingy because well she's got I think we said it but she has like another tooth coming up here so today we actually gave her some Tylenol right before we went out. It helped. I think it did. So she was in a better mood when we went she out. She didn't whine at all at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love the camera. Oh, careful! You love the camera. I'm trying to just get some quality time with her. Before, Before we, we leave. Go. Okay, come here, come here, come no. here. Because we have all I the family here you. still. We have Scott and Monica. Want to you. And Christian are hanging out here. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's staying the night. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so just spending some quality time with her one on one before we go. I'm going to miss her so much. I know we still have a little bit of time. Oh. I have it. I've he's been trying so to let cute. Monica do like all of the baby stuff, stuff. So that when I'm gone, she knows everything. Yeah. But <laughs> Emma. But, 
I do want to do bath time with her still mm. because I love bath time. Oh, you got it's a one booger. of my favorite times. Yeah, you got a booger. <laughs> oh, that's mac and cheese. Ew. Ew. <laughs> She is not in a great mood, so maybe this will help. Yeah, she doesn't need exfoliation. She's looking at you, so cute. She's staring at him. So cute. Oh, well, you want to get in too? He's terrified. <laughs> She's been getting like so much attention today from like everyone else that I was like, I need some quality time. I need some quality. You guys, she's walking so much now, like all over. I don't want to say goodnight. I love you. Can we just hang out all night? You can hang out downstairs with us and then you can I come cuddle and bed with us. We can just hang out all night. We'll have an all-nighter. Sleep right here. You don't even have to go to bed. I'm too scared to have her sleep in the bed with us. We had to do that when we were in Ireland a couple times. It was scary. And it, I just feel like I, I was really more scared. Sleep. I was more scared than Rochelle was scared of that. I because was I was in such a on light edge. sleep. I was so like yeah. I was not deeply asleep because of it, so I wasn't scared because I basically like had her in my arm the entire night. But we didn't have a choice. Like we didn't. Couldn't do anything about it. Baby cow is called a cat. She says, I forgot to mention that my mom is the best and she gave us her air conditioner unit because when she moves to Texas, they're not going to need it. So now Justin and I can have one in our bedroom. We didn't have to buy one and we'll be set for the rest of the summer, except for this one's just not as powerful as Emma's, but that's okay because we don't need it as much as she does. But that is it for today's vlog, you guys. We will talk to you guys again tomorrow, and then there might not be a vlog for a couple of days. I don't really know. We're gonna try and maybe pre-film a video, but if not, then... It's gonna be a couple days. It's gonna be a couple of days and we'll miss you guys. We wish we could so vlog because it would prepared. be so much fun, but... For our comeback video, be prepared. Video. I'm gonna see if my mom can film when we get home from camp because seeing Emma after a couple days is gonna be like the best reunion moment for me of my entire life and yeah. I kinda wanna have that on camera so I'm gonna see if she can film that. But if not, we'll talk to you tomorrow and then not for a couple days. I got sunburned today. How did you get Look sunburned? Look at that, I don't know, but I did. You can see it compared at to the dinner? rest of my skin. <laughs> when? Yes, at dinner. <laughs> I, didn't put, I didn't put sunblock on the windows, that's why. Yeah, that's why. All right, that's it for this time. We'll talk to you again Good night, guys. Night.